This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at tips, tricks, and techniques inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how two editors can collaborate using Final Cut Pro 10. Say, an assistant editor that's logging files and a main editor that's editing files. Let me show you. I have two libraries, one a library for the assistant editor and one a library for the main editor. The main editor has been editing this wonderful undersea footage. Where'd it go? Here, project. There we go. Has been editing this wonderful undersea footage, courtesy of Jim Walker and Lobster's Gone Wild Productions. But the assistant editor is responsible for logging. The way that this is set up currently is that both the assistant editor and the editor have access to the same media in the same locations. It could be on shared storage, or it could be that they're working off clone drives, but they both have the same media on the same path. There's a way to solve this if they don't, but just to let you know how this works, they both have access to the same system. If we take a look at the assistant editor, They've got these three clips. Now, there could be more than three. I'm just dealing with three because it's the process, not the quantity, that makes a difference. And as I twirl this down, notice that keywords have been added. I've got a closing shot, a hard-to-see-the-turtle shot, a nice close-up of the turtle shot that's here somewhere, and then a sea turtle shot. I've also got favorites indicated. I've got analysis. Got it all. It's all been logged. It's all had regions selected. It's ready to go. So here's the way this works. Create a new event. That's critical. I'm going to call it logged footage for today's date, 16, 10, 12. I'm going to store it inside the assistant editor's library. So now I've got two events. You could have more, but it's, it's the, the new event that makes the difference. I'm going to select the media that I want to transfer to my main editor and drag it into the logged footage folder. You could have logged footage for every day, say you're doing dailies. The key is the footage that you want to transfer must be stored inside the same event. So there's my event. Select the event, go up to the File menu, and don't share it. Don't create a library. Instead, export it as an XML file. It's important that the XML be set to the current version and the metadata view be set to general. Both of these are default settings. You just want to make sure you maintain them. It's going to default to the name of the event. I'll store it to the desktop and I'll click Save. What it's done is it's now exported pointers to the media file and all the metadata, but no media. Now let's close the assistant library library, open up the main editor, and notice that in the main editor, I don't have, where to go, I don't have any turtle footage. And you can search closely if you want, play it back in slow motion, but it ain't there. I'm going to select the library, go File. This time I'm going to select Import XML. There's our logged footage. I'm going to grab the XML file, and it's going to bring it in as its own event and there it links to the footage because the footage is on shared storage. It brings in all of the keywords. It brings in all of the, the metadata that I've added, any notes that have been applied to the file, any markers. All of that stuff is there. And that's it. If, on the other hand, the two editors are not on the same storage and don't have the same media stored in the same place, you're going to still import the footage. It's going to come in with all of the metadata intact, but they're all going to be offline. You then select the clips, go up to File, relink the media to find the new files that are on the main editor system, relink it, and that everything's back. But if they're on shared storage, then it comes in already linked and ready to edit. That is a huge time saver because I can now have assistant editors feeding me folders whenever they're done without interrupting the main editor's editing and without having to do shared libraries, just importing the metadata through an XML file. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at tips, tricks, and techniques inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 206. By the way, 
If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks 